Bob, what are you doing here so early? I'm spending the day in Charleston, sir. Tell me, Bubba, where does a faggot English major like you spend his summer vacation, huh? Havana, Peking. The Kremlin, sir. Mm -hmm. Me and Nikita Khrushchev have been plotting the overthrow of the fiercest fighting man in the United States Army. Oh. A man with the soul of a lion, the heart of an elephant, brains of a gnat, the sexual organs of a Girl Scout, sir. And who might that be, Bubba? Why, Colonel Barano, sir. <laughs> Bubba, you get your ass back here by 1700. There's something I want you to do for me. Is that an order, Bear? Bubba! It's good to see you. It's good to see you, too, Bear. What are you looking for? Fly shit and sugar. <laughs> yeah. Over there. Jesus Christ, he showed up. I'm an ugly black boy, you say it. I'm an ugly black boy, sir. I said, yeah, I'm an ugly shoe shine, you say it, boy. I'm an ugly shoe shine. God almighty damn. He ain't here to fry chicken or mow the lawn. That nigger is joining the long gray line. Yeah, for about one night till the Corps of Cadets finds out a... Uh, yeah, a pickaninny, a jigaboo, a coon, one of plain old nigger. It's gonna hear them all. And worse, by tomorrow. What do you want with me? I'm middle upper class team. Bear, you're the commandant of cadets. I mean, it's your job it's to... It's not my job to play favorites. No, it's going to have to be a cadet that runs interference for Mr. Pierce. Yeah, but interference against the whole Corps? If that's what it takes. Oh, Bear. Are you a racist? Yeah, I'm a racist. I'd like nothing better than see Mr. Pierce move his black ass right out of here. Well, then why not let him get pushed? Because from now on, Pierce is one of my lambs, and all of my lambs get an even break. Yeah, but putting my neck out for... Who looked at to you when you were a screw-up knob? Well, you did, but... Who saw something in you besides arrogance? Who made you into a cadet? Bear, you did. Bubba? I'm calling my mark a do. McLean here tells me that you're running him out of the school. I'm not running him out of school. I'm expelling him for excess demerits. I wonder, sir, if I could take this opportunity to accuse you of being a goddamn liar. Mr. McLean has given me a list of the ten over the past 30 years and of the boys they've run out of the school. I've contacted 12 of those boys. They've all volunteered to swear in court, if necessary, that they were taken to your plantation house there last night as cadets. Do you understand what you're doing? Now, you may recall on numerous occasions you told me that the activities of the Ten were as mysterious to yourself as they were to me. That wasn't exactly true now, was it, General? What do you want, Colonel? It's your hand now, Bubba. You play. <laughs> 